braces this is v brace for impact i'm coming to you today with a unboxing this is a different kind of box so maybe fragrant jewels is switching boxes um because this is not their normal box but this is a fragrant jewel uh Unboxing. Sorry, y'all. Had some on my lip. So this is a fragrant jewels um unboxing. Let me show y'all this first. This is the February box. It's Moon Magic. I love it, y'all. Y'all know I love the moon. Yes, in purple. Okay. So it's Moon Magic. As you gaze up at the closest celestial neighbor, have you ever wondered what magic she possesses? A goddess in her own right. The moon has the ability to move oceans and illuminate the night sky. If you attune yourself to her many changes, what power can she offer you? What influence can you have over your surrounding world? We hope this collection reminds you to embrace the transformation just like she does as she cycled through the lunar months. When things get dark, you will always rise again, bright and powerful as ever. Yes. Lunar magic, y'all. Ew. See, I'm wearing some fragrant jewels right now. Sorry, y'all, my nails not polished. I have to polish them. But see, that's some of Fragrant Jewel's rings right there. Okay, so to get on with this, this is Moon Magic. First of all, my first impressions of it is I love the iridescent purple. Like, y'all, I'm going to recycle this jar. This is probably going to be like one of my makeup jars. You know, I'm probably going to put, like, my makeup brushes in it. Or, yeah, I'm just going to recycle it. I'm probably going to put, like, insect sticks or something like that in it. But it's going to get recycled. Okay? This is how it looks. It's the Moon Magic. And it's the iridescent. That's how the inside look. It's purple. It smells similar to the um I'm gonna tell you what it smells similar to. This one right here. It smells similar to the holiday magic. Now that I'm smelling it, it has like that citrus scent. And this one right here had the citrus scent too. The holiday magic. That's what it smells similar to. Like, yeah. So I don't know what the scent description is. It definitely smells like the holiday magic though. But it's good. It's a nice scent, citrus scent. Okay, and this is the bath bomb to go to it, to go with it. It has like this turquoise, jade, green, and different shades of purple. Sorry, I'm trying to get y'all the light. There you go. So that's how it look. It has a nice weight to it. That's what I like about their bath bombs. It's like the colors, the moisture, and the pigmentation of the bath bomb, okay? And it has weight. It's not so lightweight. It has weight to it. Okay? So those two go together. Um, Now, for the other things that I had ordered, I don't think I came on here and showed you. But it was the Love and the Lust bath bombs. It's the um, Magic um, collection that they had. 
So I did get a love bath bomb and a lust. And they both came with different spells or potions that you can read out loud or however you want to use them. And, you know, I did get these two. I don't know, was it the Luna Eclipse bath bombs? I did get two of those. Yes. So, we are going to, you know, just keep a lookout for my videos. I'm going to show y'all my ring collection from Fragrant Jewels. I have quite a few rings from them now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, like, I'm going to start getting them, but changing the sizes and maybe putting them as gifts for other people, you know, come out the stay coming up. So maybe I can give, like, one a bath bomb and then one a candle for, you know, people I know they wear the same sizes. So I'm going to write that down and we'll see. And then I'm going to switch back to my size. But that's it, you guys. So that's the two Eclipse bath bombs. This is the Lust. This is Love. This is the Moon Magic bath bomb. And then the Moon Magic candle, which I'm absolutely adoring. It is so adorable. Right up my alley, y'all. Yes, I'm probably just going to melt it to get the ring out, and then I'm going to keep the jar. That's how I get my rings out. I should probably do a video. Um, I fill my pot up halfway with water. I boil it once I see bubbles forming. Then I put my candle in. I let it melt for maybe like, give and take about 10 minutes. It don't take that long once your water get hot. So, I, um... Put the candle in the pot of water and let it boil. And then the ring and the glue just floats up to the top of the candle. And then I take the candle out, get the ring out with tongs, put it on a napkin, set the candle over to the side to cool. And then that's it, y'all. I don't do all that digging and messing that I did at first. I got smart. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and brace for impact. Look out for the rain collection video. That's coming next, okay? Peace.